So you've decided it's finally time to get healthy, to lose some weight. Fabulous, I totally support you. Now the next question is, which diet do you go on? Or is that the best next question? In this video, I'm gonna share with you about some of the most popular fad diets so you can discern between them. Then I'm gonna share with you some questions that I think are really important to ask before you decide to go on a diet. And then I will share with you what I think is the best dietary approach for you from a nutritionist point of view. RenewalFitCoach.com. I'm a certified personal trainer, a holistic nutritionist, and a registered dietitian in the making. So I want to share with you about some of the top fad diets that people love to try. So let's start with the keto diet. This is a, one of the most popular ones right now. The basic premise of this is it's high fat, moderate protein, and very low carb. For most people, this ends up being somewhere around 50 carbs or lower per day, which means you're pretty much not eating any grains or potatoes or pasta, anything like that. Very few fruits and vegetables. You're mostly focusing on healthy fats. So things like eggs, avocado, beef. This is a very restrictive diet. To do it properly, you need to be in ketosis, which takes a while usually to get into, and you can very easily come out of it if you overdo your carbohydrates. The paleo diet is basically based on what did our ancestors eat and let's eat like they ate. So processed foods are pretty much eliminated, so are things like legumes, and there's a strong focus on lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and some whole grains. You won't be eating things like dairy or sodas or anything like that. The benefit of this diet is it does really focus on whole natural foods and getting rid of artificial sweeteners, sugar, preservatives, things like that. The alkaline diet focuses on trying to keep the body in an alkaline state and reducing acidic ash in the body. This tends to focus on very minimal, minimally processed foods, little dairy, little meat, a lot more grains, fruits, vegetables. In some ways, this is very close to a plant-based diet, and it can also be quite restrictive, so might pose quite a bit of challenges for some people. Vegetarian and vegan diets. These are also very popular. A vegetarian diet is basically no meat products. A vegan diet is basically no animal products. You're not eating cheese, you're not eating fish, you're not eating eggs. Now this one can be across the spectrum because some vegans or vegetarians could pretty much get by on junk food where others are very focused on whole, natural, organic type of foods. And some people do this for moral reasons, some people do it for health reasons, some people do it simply to lose weight. A plant-based diet is kind of along the same lines of vegan or vegetarian, but maybe a little bit more flexitarian, if you've heard that term. So a plant-based diet is gonna be more like 80 to 90% plants while eating minimal amounts of animal products. So the focus is really on whole foods, natural, organic, things that come from the earth, legumes, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and then a little bit of meat, fish, dairy products. So this has a little bit more flexibility with it, tends to be a little bit more achievable for many people. And some tend to take this diet and maybe just do it a few days a week or part of their life. So again, a lot of times this has a flexitarian approach to it. Now on the other hand, we have the carnivore diet. The carnivore diet is the complete opposite of vegan or vegetarian or plant-based, and it basically says you eat all animal products and nothing else. So really no fruits or vegetables or grains or legumes. It's meat, it's fish, it's some dairy, eggs, but the main focus is really on things like meat. That's the primary food that you're eating while cutting out pretty much all other food groups out of your diet. This again is quite restrictive because it's hard to avoid things like grains or fruits or vegetables. It's hard to go out to eat with people. It's hard to go to someone's home and have food. So this is quite restrictive and will probably prove tough for a lot of people. 
Then there's a Mediterranean diet. This one is quite popular, has been known for a long time. It's a little bit more of a balanced approach to a diet. Very similar to the plant-based diet. This one is focused on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, seeds, nuts, fish, and a little bit of dairy and meat, keeping things like sugar and processed foods at a very minimal. Essentially, this is eating like people in the Mediterranean would eat, where people have been shown to have really long lifespans and great health. Then there's a low carb diet. This one is a little bit less definitive because people tend to define low carb differently or approach it differently. And this is gonna depend more on what low carb is for you. So my low carb is gonna be different than my husband's low carb, which is gonna be different than a bodybuilder's low carbohydrate. But essentially this is just restricting the amount of carbohydrates that you eat on a daily basis. So you're not getting rid of them and it's not like keto, but it's a little bit more moderate, maybe in the, 100 to 150 type of range in terms of grams of carbohydrate per day. But again, that's gonna vary per person. Other than that, there's not a lot of specific restrictions in this diet. So it could include whole foods, it could include processed foods, the types of carbs vary. It's really just more a focus on the amount of grams of carbohydrates that you're eating per day. Then there's the Whole30 diet. This is kind of a blend of some of the diets where, again, it's mostly focused on whole and natural foods, getting rid of processed foods, preservatives, additives. It does also remove things like dairy, legumes, pasta, bread, alcohol, sugar. So that you're still eating meat, you still have a lot of fruits and vegetables, but there are some specific carbohydrates and types of foods that are eliminated entirely. Now, as your personal nutritionist at the moment, let's take a step back. Let's step back and look at why do you want to go on a diet? These questions that I'm going to ask you in just a second are going to help you figure out what's gonna work best for you. Every diet's different. Every diet is going to affect different people differently because we all have unique bodies and everyone has some, every diet has some pros and cons to it. So, what I suggest you do is grab a piece of paper and some pe a pen or go on your computer, jot down these questions and take some time to thoughtfully answer these questions before you continue with the video or at least continue with choosing a diet. Question one to ask, why do you want to change the way that you eat? Do you need to change? Do you need to diet? What's driving this question? Question two, what is your goal? Is it weight loss, more energy, better skin, athletic performance, cardiovascular health, diabetes prevention? Question three is what is your current health like and what is your family health history? Are there any health conditions or genetic predispositions that could be exasperated or improved by certain food or dietary choices? Question four, what's realistic for you? Do you have time to figure out all the new meals you need to cook for you and your family? Can you stick to a diet plan or should you start just making small changes one at a time? I would also encourage you to do some of your own research. I'm sure this is part of it, but take some time to Google, look through journal articles, check out other videos about these different diets. What's good about them, what's not so good about them. Research more about their purpose, their function, how they work, what to expect. Like the Bible says, test everything and hold to what is good. Sort through everything and figure out what really appeals to you and why, and if this is something that you can sustain. What do I recommend is the best dietary approach for you? Note that I say dietary approach and not diet. One of the reasons for this is if you look through all of these diets, you'll find that a lot of them have common ground. I wanna share with you some of those key foundational pieces that a lot of diets share that have been shown by science to really help improve health as well as to support weight loss. And if you follow these, they're really going to help you reach your goals. Eat whole, organic, God-given natural foods. Focus on making the most of your diet up out of things that naturally come from the earth. These are things like 
apples and oranges that hang on trees, things that grow out of the ground like potatoes, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, rice, grains, things that you will naturally find that you could probably plant in your own garden or you could go out find and gr outside that's growing. These are some of the best foods that you can focus on. They're full of fiber, they'll help keep you full, and they have tons of vitamins and minerals. On the other hand, avoid highly processed man-made foods. Things that are made in labs, things that are filled with chemicals and preservatives so they can sit on store shelves for a long time. Things like potato chips and frozen dinners and a lot of the foods that you find like in the center of the grocery store where they can sit on shelves for months at a time. And when you look at the, re the nutrition label, you don't even understand what half the ingredients are. Those are usually the types of foods that you want to avoid or reduce drastically in your diet. Eat healthy carbs. So I don't recommend eliminating any entire food group, whether that's carbohydrates or fats or whatever you want to eliminate. But if you're eating carbohydrates, it's important to notice that there is a difference between man-made and processed carbohydrates that tend to be associated with weight gain and poor health and really quality, helpful carbohydrates. So these kind of like I mentioned before, things like potatoes, grains, oats, things that come from the earth, where you might wanna avoid things that have been so processed that they are just pure white flour now with very little nutrition benefit to them. So things like white pasta, white tortillas, white rice, donuts, pastries, bagels, those are the type of carbohydrates that you want to reduce quite a bit in your diet. I also recommend eating plenty of beans and legumes. Some of these diets do cut them out, and there are some reasons why they don't work well for some people, but generally, some of the healthiest populations on the planet are associated with groups who eat a lot of legumes and beans. Consume really quality fats, things like avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado, nuts and seeds. These are great sources of fatty acids, of even protein, and really helpful to have in your diet. I would also suggest that you keep your animal product consumption low. Does that necessarily have to be vegan or vegetarian or even plant-based? Not necessarily but I would recommend that you're not eating animal products at every single meal, or maybe even take a day or two off of the week where you keep it, you know, like a meatless Monday or one of those things where every once in a while you just cut back on the meat, or when you do eat it, you serve it in small portions. A lot of animal products have been associated with health concerns, disease, and even issues like diabetes due to high saturated fat, hormones, antibiotics, all those sorts of things. So when you do eat animal products, make sure that they are things like organic or wild caught fish or grass fed, that they don't have hormones and they don't have antibiotics. Also avoid added and refined sugars. Again, most of these diets try to cut out sugar and any type of refined junk like candy and cookies and donuts and these types of things. Those are never helpful for anyone. They have no nutritional benefit to them at all. And I can almost guarantee that if you cut down on your sugar, you will quickly see a change in not only your body, but your skin and your energy, probably even your mental health, but definitely your overall well-being. As your personal nutritionist, what diet do I suggest you go on? I don't. I don't recommend that you diet or follow a specific diet plan. Overall, I really just focus on eating what I just shared with you, natural, whole foods, and keeping the refined, sugary foods to a minimum. Focus on foods that are gonna make you feel fabulous and make it easy to lose weight. Now, if you still feel a little bit stuck after this video, you still want more advice, you feel like you could kinda use more guidance through this process, 
which is totally understandable because I know it's tough. I've had plenty of coaches help guide me through the way as well. Feel free to contact me for a free 15 minute consultation. You can also visit my website at renewalfitcoach.com and there you can see a list of the programs that I offer to figure out what might be best for you. And if this video was helpful to you, you liked it, or maybe you thought of someone else who could enjoy watching this video, then please like it pass it along and share it. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I hope this is helpful to you. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, blessings on renewing your life through your health and fitness journey.